A Maryland residential purchase agreement is a crucial document when buying a home. Legally binding once signed by the buyer and seller, the contract outlines all of the agreed upon terms and conditions of the transaction, such as the purchase price, closing dates, and the rights and obligations of both parties. In this video, we'll cover how a residential purchase agreement works, the legal requirements in Maryland, and what you will need to create one. Worry Forms, the biggest online database for legal documents. Stick around and we'll tell you where you can find an official residential purchase agreement specific to Maryland. First, let's review how does a residential purchase agreement exactly work. A residential purchase agreement initially acts as an offer letter from a prospective buyer to the seller of a home. It states how much the buyer is willing to pay, how they will finance it, the closing date, and any contingencies that must be satisfied by either party for the contract to remain in good standing. After reviewing the agreement, the seller can accept, reject, or make a counteroffer. In most cases, it takes some negotiation between the buyer and the seller to reach an agreement on all aspects of the contract. Once it's met, both parties sign the document, making it legally bound. This means that the agreement can only be terminated if both parties agree to it, or if a contractual contingency or a legal requirement is not met. So what are the legal requirements in Maryland? The state of Maryland requires the seller of a residential property to fill out an official property disclosure form, which informs the prospective buyer of the property's material conditions, zoning issues, homeowner association membership, and more. Any known defects or hazards on the property must be reported as well. The seller must provide the state mandated disclosures before the buyer executes the agreement. In addition, under federal law, the seller must disclose the property's history of lead-based paint exposure if it was built before 1978. Now that we know more about how a residential purchase agreement works and what is legally required, here are some things you should do to make sure the process goes smoothly. Include a mortgage pre-approval letter. A mortgage pre-approval letter is a document from the bank estimating how much it is willing to lend to the buyer based on their credit history, income, debts, and assets. This helps the seller determine whether the buyer is financially credible. Offer an earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is a percentage of the offer and provided to the seller as a show of good faith. It is written into the residential purchase agreement and typically delivered when the agreement is signed. Use an addendum to modify or add to the agreement. An addendum is often included with a residential purchase agreement to add to or amend any terms and conditions. It can also detail a contingency which allows either party to opt out of the contract if certain terms are not met. If you're in need of an official Maryland residential purchase agreement, you can get started by clicking the link right here. Also hit that subscribe button for more videos that help to simplify the legal process for everything ranging from buying or selling a house to making a will.